गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गाइज हैप्पी हैप्पी गणेश चतुर्थी आई होप यू आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल फिजिकली फिट एंड फाइन मेंटली फिट एंड फाइन सो वी आर थ्रू विद टू क्लासेस टू क्लासेस ऑफ सी एफ फाइनल ऑडिट अवर न्यू बैच इन इंग्लिश these two lectures were small but then we have studied a lot of important principles from practical point of view we have discussed case studies and most importantly i have given you audio revision yes guys audio revision for both the lectures i hope you are listening to those audio revisions it is extremely important that you keep listening to those audios on regular basis in fact two to three audios on regular basis guys whatever we are studying it is right from the study material and something which is in study material holds extreme level of importance so we have already seen background of ethics code of ethics its parts five fundamental principles we have seen and today we are going to start ahead from here i hope you are uh, you are going in depth in the concepts you are understanding the concepts you are revising the concept using the audios properly because that is extremely important that you use your books and your audios properly come on guys let's see so not lot of time left for today's class from tomorrow onwards we'll be having proper two and half two and half hours of class let's see guys so in last lecture we saw that there are five fundamental principles yes and these five principles are extremely important because if chartered accountant compromises with any of these five principles then it will be considered as unethical and he may you know he may uh, get lot of penalties lot of punishments because of this now let's understand they are giving examples of threats so in that we have seen that there are five types of threats self interest threat self review threat correct advocacy threat familiarity threat safi and i for intimidation threats now they are explaining examples they are giving examples of self interest threat self review threat and so on but then these examples these examples are divided into two parts example for chartered accountant in practice and example for chartered accountant in service so you should be extremely careful in question whether they are asking examples for chartered accountant in practice or chartered accountant in service see in old course there were only one set of examples only one set of examples and they didn't clarify whether this was for practice or whether this was for service but now they have clarified it so it is extremely important to understand that examples are different for those who are in practice and those who are in service let's see guys so first thing is we are going to see examples who are undertaking professional services undertaking professional services is nothing but practice if a chartered accountant is giving professional services to society to businesses then then these are the situations which are going to create threats on him so in last lecture we understood what do you mean by threats threat is a situation threat threat is a situation which is going to pressurize chartered accountant to compromise with the fundamental principle okay let's see example of self interest threat for the ease of learning for the ease of learning and ease of understanding and ease of memorization we have to follow the principle of grouping we have to follow the principle of grouping now how we have grouped it let's understand how we have grouped it 
so some examples we have given a heading before assignment some examples we have given in for assignment and some we have given heading during assignment so we have few examples before assignments few example for assignment few example during assignment see if you try to remember all the five points together it is a difficult job but if you group them somehow you group them in categories it is easy to remember so let's understand so if if chartered accountant in practice if chartered accountant in practice just a minute guys बंद कर सो इफ चार्ट अकाउंट इन प्रैक्टिस इज ही is having close business or personal relationship so there is a situation a chartered accountant is running his practice and then he sees that people who are managing the company they are there are close relationship with them there is a business relationship with them there is a business relationship so if chartered account in practice he his family is having business relationship with them then it will create a pressure on him obviously it will create pressure on him to give good reports and compromise with fundamental principles so if a chartered account in practice is having business relationships association with the client this situation is a threat for to protect his personal to protect his benefit to protect his business he will be under a lot of pressure to give all good reports unmodified reports financial statements give true and fair view relationship a professional accountant having close business or personal connection with client which could create bias or conflict of interest affecting their objectivity so you need to explain only one simple thing that if there is a close business relationship with the client or connection with the client to protect this thing chartered accountant will be under pressure he will be under a lot of threat to compromise with fundamental principles then next is and we have simply grouped it okay so if be before starting the assignment before starting the assignment we come to know oh we have a close business relationship with him now to protect that it will create a pressure on us it is a self interest threat to protect one's own benefit self interest mean interest means benefit to protect one's own benefit there will be a pressure then next is financial interest financial interest now what is this financial interest very simple if a chartered accountant has directly or indirectly invested in shares we know that under companies act we know that under companies act if you invest in shares you we get disqualified that is fine we are not talking about companies act we are talking about broad principles these are applicable to company also they are applicable to cooperative society also applicable to trust also proprietorship also partnership also they are applicable in all in all different they are applicable in all different types of entities then suppose chartered accountant has invested directly indirectly in shares debentures or he has given loan okay direct financial stake directly has invested in client's business now to protect that investment share to protect that investment share value should not go down to protect that he will be under a lot of pressure 
to do wrong reporting inappropriate reporting now that is again self interest threat so first point was to protect his business he will do wrong reporting self interest threat to protect his financial benefit investment in shares investment in bonds and debentures he will he may do wrong reporting again self interest threat so any situation in which he will be under pressure to take care of his own benefit to take care of his own benefit okay that situation will be called as self interest threat so just for example so we said that before before assignment is accepted he analyze he go, he came to about two situation there is a business relationship there is a direct financial interest now next now very interesting see guys each of the point can come as a mcq each of the point can come as a mcq or it can come as a case study and that time you should be able to realize understand oh yes he will try to protect his business he will try to protect his investment it is a self interest threat now for assignment suppose suppose chartered accountant suppose chartered account suppose chartered accountant chartered accountant is charging low fees chartered accountant is charging lot of low fees sir why will he do that let's understand see in each many chartered accountants they want lot of lot of clients lot of assignments and in the process they may get aggressive many times chartered accountants get super aggressive and to get assignments they charge lot of low fees to get the assignments to get the business chartered accountants may charge lot of low fees to get the assignment to get the business but they will not be able to deliver quality they will not be they will not be able to deploy enough number of people enough infrastructure to conduct that particular assignment to conduct that particular assignment correct that particular assignment and because of that fundamental principles will get compromised so charging very low fees and getting assignments for personal benefit for getting assignments for personal practice he may it is king again it is creating a threat he will have to he will have to compromise with fundamental principles fundamental principles like professional competence and due care like professional behavior he won't be able to finish up the assignment on the given time i hope it is clear very interesting point how because of charging low fees getting business but then creating pressure to compromise with the fundamental principles next during the assignment if there is a situation that there is lot of sensitive information so there is a listed company and there is a lot of sensitive information there is sensitive information about research and development there is sensitive information about research and development sensitive information about new associations sensitive information about what new project they are coming up with okay sensitive information about ai lot of sensitive information now because of greed because of greed and this information is extremely valuable extremely extremely valuable you can share this information with anyone one page document and you can get millions of dollar this is the situation so if there is extraordinary sensitive information in the assignment for personal benefit he may sell that information give that information to others or he may use that information for personal benefit so if there is lot of confidential and sensitive information he may try to take benefit from it so it is again going to create what self interest threat very interesting error discovery error discovery 
Now, what is this error discovery? So there is a situation. He may come across a situation where his where his associates, where his team member, where his team members, or he himself has done something wrong. Accountant identifying a major mistake in previous year performed by colleague within the same firm, indicating potential lack of quality control professional competence. Now he comes across, oh my God, last time there was such a big material misstatement. My team, my colleagues didn't identify it, didn't report it, such a wrong thing. He may not disclose this to anyone. He may keep it under the wraps. Let it be. Because if he will disclose, people will question quality of the assignment. People will question quality of services. It is going to damage reputation. It is going to damage reputation of the organization, of the CFM. Again, to protect that, he will, not he will not give proper report. He will compromise with the principal, self-interest threat. Let's freeze, guys. Let's again freeze. There are five examples. Any situation which creates pressure on the chartered accountant that he protects his personal benefits, protects his benefits, and compromise with the prof and compromise with the professional ethics, compromise with professional ethics, okay, with professional ethics, it will be it will be called as self interest threat. So before assignment starts, we come to know just an example. Before assignment starts, two points. We come to know there is a strong business relationship. He is going to protect business relationship, self interest threat. There's a direct financial interest in shares and debentures, self-interest threat. Or for assignment, he's charging a lot of low fees and getting assignments, but he will not be able to deliver quality. Protect, protecting his interest, self-interest threat. Then during the assignment, a lot of confidential and sensitive information. Again, there's a lot of pressure on him to use that information and get personal benefit, self-interest threat. He discovers, he discovers error. He discovers error. Now he wants to, he, he discovers error. He wants to protect reputation of the firm against self-interest threat. Each point can come as a case study. Each point can come as a MCQ, guys. Extremely important. Each point can come as an important case study in exams. Next is self-review threat. Next is self-review threat. Now, what is this self-review threat? We know that. Very simple. Suppose, now child accountant, he only implemented a complete internal control system of the company. Two years back, he implemented complete internal control system, accounting system. He only designed the vouchers. He only designed the vouchers. He only decided how, prime, how entry will take place in primary books. He only decided how posting will take place in secondary books. He only decided how trial balance will be created how trial balance will be created, how financial statements will be prepared. He implemented internal control system. Now, he has implemented internal control system and he is, after two years, he is only doing the audit. You have evaluation after implementation. Accountant is evaluating efficiency of financial system after they have implemented. So if there is any assignment in which few years back he only implemented everything, now he is only checking it as a statutory auditor or as an internal auditor, he is only checking it, he is checking his own work. He will never go against himself. He will never go against himself. He will compromise with the principles. That is a self-review threat. So when you are checking your own work, 
so any circumstances in which ca in practice is checking his own work is checking his own work that is self interest threat one more he has only prepared important document <laughs> he has prepared fix asset register he has prepared the complete computation of employee benefit what should be provision for gratuity what should what should be what should be provision for gratuity what should be provision for pension okay he has only done that he has done all these things and now he is only checking it he has given india's consultancy he has he has he has given he has given complete india's consultancy and now he is only he is only checking those things again he is checking his own work that will be self review thread so if there is any situation where he is checking his own work he will never report negative things he will compromise with the fundamental principles self review thread so there are two things if after implementation of systems he is only checking it in one capacity or another as a statutory audit auditor or as a internal auditor there will be a self review thread if after preparation of preparation of fixed asset register preparation of employee cal employee benefit calculation india's consultancy he is only checking it again it will create self review thread again i am saying guys just don't think from company audit point of view we know that there is a companies act and we know that there are disqualification in companies act but this this is a principle based discussion we are doing applicable not just to companies but other entities also so in exam you will get a straight away question that you have to answer as per code of ethics and there will be option as per that then safi so one s we are through self interest threat there are five examples of self interest threat two before assignment one for assignment two during the assignment okay then there are two examples two examples of self review threat and now advocacy if chartered accountant takes any assignment assignment like getting shares of the company listed in the stock exchange getting shares of the company listed in the stock exchange or valuing shares of the company or you know uh, giving now giving uh, investment banking consultancy where he has to sell the business sell the business of the company whenever he takes the assignment where he has to get listed value share sell the business now in these assignment he has to find out lot of positive points about the company so that how to get better valuation in many assignments chartered accountant has to look for positive points and get good valuation in the process he may get very aggressive in the process he may get he may get very very aggressive and he may lie yes he may compromise with integrity he may lie about the company he may lie about the shares he may lie about the litigations for promoting for promoting the shares for getting more value for the shares for getting more value for the business now that will be because he is promoting so much in the process he may compromise with the principle of integrity so this situation creates advocacy threat because he is advocating something so strongly so strongly that in the process he may compromise with the fundamental principles of professional ethics okay so promotion promotion accountant actively promotes actively promotes interests or shares interest or shares of their client possibly through market possibly through marketing advertising or public relation activities through marketing advertising 
or public relation activities. So he may get any assignment. He may get assignment to advertise also to maintain public relation and so on. In the process, he may compromise with fundamental ethics, advocacy threat. Now, chartered accountant in practice may be appointed as a representative for the company to defend the company. Defend company in a case which is presented in, before, in front of SEBI. He may be appointed to defend company in SEBI case, RBI case, insurance case, any proceedings. So he may be appointed to defend the company in proceedings going on in the SEBI, proceedings going on in the RBI, proceedings which are going in IRDA or proceedings which are going on in the court or any authority in the, pro in the process of defending and protecting the company, he may tell lies. He may lie a lot of things. He may lie a lot of things. Okay? Lie a lot of things. Now that is going to create advocacy threat. Advocacy threat. So you will get a case study in exams. That uh, a, a person with very bad reputation, very bad reputation, like a goon, like a goon, he wants to appoint you so that you can show, you can get a clean chit for him. Yes, you will get a case like this. That a very, a person with a bad background of illegal activities and bad reputation, a goon wants to appoint you so that you can get a clean chit for him. He wants you to defend him, to nullify everything, to falsify things and make him clean. In the process, you will have to break a lot of fundamental principles. This will create advocacy threat. So fighting cases for the evil, fighting cases for bad people will create advocacy threat. Lobbying. What do you mean by lobbying? So generally it happens uh, whenever uh, government is making any policy like uh, solar policy or EV, EV vehicle policy or export policy or government is making any law. Now businessmen, industrialists, they want that policies and laws should be in their favor, in their favor. So they appoint a lot of professionals, give them a lot of money. You talk to government representatives, you talk to government authorities, you talk to ministries, political parties, give them a lot of input and ensure that they work in your favor. This process is called lobbying. Lobbying. Lobbying means trying to push few things to get favorable policies, pushing things and getting favorable policies and favorable laws. That's called lobbying. So. If child accountant is getting this work of lobbying, he may say a lot of false things to cover up, simply to say that client has this, client has that, he is good and so on. Correct? It will create, again, advocacy threat. Accountant lobbies to influence creation of creation or amendment of legislation in favor of their client, advocating for specific laws, regulation, policies. See, you don't have to remember as it is things. It is not possible, guys. You should know, never go for rectifying and crime, cramming as it is. If you can remember three examples that, number one example, see, you don't need a shortcut for three points. I generally feel that you need a shortcut. You need a shortcut when the points are more than three to four. Points are more than three to four, then you need a shortcut and not before that. Okay. More than, at least, I think, more than four at least. More than four to five points. And if there is no flow, then you need a shortcut. In three, you don't need. So if a chartered accountant is appointed for promoting, for valuing, selling, business, shares, securities, he may compromise with honesty, advocacy threat. If he is appointed to defend, to appointed as an advocate to defend company, 
he may compromise with integrity advocacy threat if he is appointed for lobbying again he may compromise with things in the process of advocating promoting and defending the client he may break principles that is advocacy threat see very simple safi we have seen five examples of self review threat okay situations which create self review threat self interest threat then two situations self review threat and then three advocacy threat familiarity threat familiarity threat sir what do you mean by this familiarity threat a situation a situation where there is a very close personal relationship very close personal relationship of chartered accountant very close family very close family situation where professional account has close or immediate family member situation where very close close or immediate family member they have not word use see don't study it as a law don't study it as a law it is principle based guys it is based on principles so they have not defined what do you mean by family out here so we don't expect that kind of cases we expect mcqs here we expect mcqs and definitely case studies but not case studies on interpretation of the each and every word we will be having case study hitting that particular point so if a chartered accountant practice sees that oh my god my close family members my close family members my immediate my immediate family my close family members are sitting as directors are sitting as directors officers in the client i have sympathy towards them i have sympathy towards them how will i go against them how will i go against them oh my god how will i go against them in the process i may compromise with integrity honesty i may compromise with professional competence and due care i may compromise with objectivity it is creating a threat familiarity threat so close or immediate family members are sitting as directors and officer create sympathy in our heart we may compromise with fundamental principles familiarity threat long association long association if we are working for client for 25 years 40 years 50 years we have seen each other in thick and thin when times were good and times were bad we have shared lot of discussions with each other shared life philosophies with each other and now our kids are getting married our kids are friends our kids are getting married lot of time this happens that kids of chartered accountant in practice and kids of the businessman they get married they are very close friends of each other in one of the case priyam vada birla respected priyam vada birla she passed away she transferred her <laughs> legacy she transferred her in will to the chartered accountant so i want to say sometimes because of long years of association long years of service there is lot of mutual respect and sympathy towards each other and because of this mutual respect and sympathy problems can occur problems can occur chartered accountant may compromise with the fundamental principles that's why in companies act we have principle of rotation so that familiarity threat can be reduced can be eliminated in fact now this very interesting can come in exams extremely important
our recent engagement partner our partner who taught everything to us our guru our engagement partner who taught everything to us our guru today he has left the ca firm and he is sitting in the position of director he is sitting in the position of director he is sitting in the position of officer in the company or he is sitting in a position of a employee who has significant influence over financial statement preparation he is sitting in a position where he selects accounting policies my goodness he selects accounting policies he decides estimates accounting policies he decides estimates he is doing such a big thing he is doing such a big thing my god my goodness okay now how will i go against him i have sympathy towards him i have respect towards him how will i go against him familiarity threat so you should remember key words family close family or immediate relative sitting in a bigger position oh how will i go against them familiarity threat long association will client how will i go against them familiarity threat recent engagement partner who taught us everything he is now leaving our firm and he is sitting in the position of director he is sitting in the position of employee sitting in a position of director sitting in position of employee how will i go against them he is the employee who is taking all the significant decisions with respect to financial statements how will i go against them yaar that is that will create familiarity threat interesting now next is intimidation threat again there are four examples in sequence see the shortcut see i will always give you some kind of shortcut shortcut is not always in the form of mnemonics shortcut is not just in the form of mnemonics guys anything which makes learning easy learning simple any flow that is a shortcut like there are lot of points grouping them that is a shortcut it it is in a flow now here in the sequence of severity now let's understand intimidation in, to, to intimidate means trying to frighten trying to frighten trying to pressurize the chartered accountant intimidation threat in the sequence of severity now client is very cunning he has done lot of favors for chartered accountant practice even when ca didn't ask for it client is very smart he has given lot of favors he has arranged best property for the auditor at a very cheap rate for his home for his office he has ensured admission of the children at a very good college he has paid the donation now client has done lot of things lot of things for the chartered accountant in practice and he has kept the list of it all the evidence of it how chartered account accepted it and now he is threatening the chartered accountant i will make a public disclosure how you took my favor for home for office for admission for car and so on i will disclose it to public i will tell everyone 
that you are not a prophet. You have done unethical activities. Public disclosure. Accountant having accepted significant gifts. My God. So moment you accept any kind of gift, you are automatically under obligation. It's a very good trick, guys. If you are smart, you should give gifts. If you are smart, you should give gifts to all big people and powerful people. You should give a lot of gifts. They are automatically under obligation to work for you, to give favor to you. That's how a lot of businessmen, they trick politicians. Give them new cars. Give them fancy properties. Fancy vacations. Ships. They are automatically, they are automatically under pressure to give you back. But now, but now, client is using this is it is threatening i will make public disclosure this will destroy the whole career very dangerous very dangerous intimidation threat if client is threatening chartered accountant i will remove you from the engagement you are not listening to us you are not listening to us you don't want to give clean report we will remove you. We will remove you. Intimidation threat. Dismissal. See, again, secret to memorization. Secret to memorization is focusing on that one word. Dismissal. Automatically, complete point will be retained in your brain. Complete point will be there in your brain. Then, see, We promised you that this is how we will increase your work. First, we will give you work of subsidiary, then more subsidiary. Then one day, we will give you work of parent company, ultimate parent company. We'll give you work of consolidation. So client has given a complete roadmap how they will be offering a lot of work to the child accountant. And now they are saying, hmm, we are rethinking whether to increase your work. We are rethinking whether to increase your work. Whether to give you more work. We are not thinking to promote your work. That planned promotion will only materialize if they consent to an inappropriate accounting treatment. So new works, new work, new things, new work, new things won't happen. New work, new things won't happen unless you agree to overvaluation of inventory, unless you agree, undervaluation of liabilities, intimidation threat, expertise pressure. So, company has lot of big experts, 40 years of experience, 50 years of experience, people who are awarded by governments, are given Nobel Prizes. Company has lot of big experts or they have hired a lot of experts, very knowledgeable people, very experienced people and now they are creating pressure. You are extraordinary smart, huh? You fool? Do you understand? You are saying that the Nobel Prize winner is wrong? People will laugh at you. So company has lot of expert with lot of good standing in the market standing in the market and now they are getting pressure on the child accountant 
you dare go against these experts people will laugh at you creating pressure in the form of expertise because client has superior expertise client has big experts on their side industry expert on their side c4 most dangerous i will disclose in public what kind of favors i have given you some of you must be thinking honey trap some of you must be thinking about honey trap yeah, everything can happen in practical life most dangerous i will make public disclosures oh my god intimidation threat i will dismiss you intimidation threat i will not increase your work i will not promote you intimidation threat intimidation threat expertise okay i have lot of experts dare you go against them intimidation threat so guys that was wonderful and as i said each and every example each and every example can come as a case study can come as a case study guys yes it's very much possible very very much possible okay so what we have seen till now see guys it is initial few lectures you know i will get used to uh what you guys like correct you will get used to what i deliver how i deliver things so we are going step by step we are not you know we are touching everything properly we are spending more time more examples so that we get comfortable and then we'll gradually take off and that is how generally uh, all the professors they go about it okay so we have seen uh, background code of ethics its parts five fundamental principles and then there are threats five types of threats are there we have seen example five examples of self interest threat two example of self review threat then we have seen example of three examples of advocacy threat familiarity threat and finally intimidation threat now you must be thinking sir how will i remember so many points guys again i am saying however good you study however good you study however in depth you study whatever is the shortcut technique you are having after few days you will tend to forget things it is absolutely fine take my words i am giving you one of the finest thing i am giving you audio revision of each and every lecture i am giving you audio revision of each and every lecture we must be spending 2 to 2 and 1/2 hours for a lecture but you will be able to revise it in matter of 5 8 10 minutes so what we have spent 2 hours it will take you hardly 10 minutes and if you increase speed even less than that to refresh everything that is the best way listen to these audios again and again 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 and i bet you will get super comfortable one more thing i will be giving you revision of each chapter also giving you revision of each chapter you see those thing see my students they revise subject 6 to 7 times before going to exam and if you revise subject 6 to 7 times before the exam you are going to crack it you are going to kill it so we are going to have a wonderful we have designed this book and course beautifully see keeping my you know experience of 15 years i know what is required in theory what kind of things are required in theory so we have put everything and these audio revisions and video revisions are going to be big game changer i hope you guys i hope i hope you guys are uh, listening to those audios you are in sync with me and regularly and regularly you are going with me okay now so we have seen examples we have seen examples for chartered accountant in practice 
now we are going to see examples now number of examples are less here for chartered accountant in service chartered accountant in service okay now examples of again threat situation for chartered account in service undertaking a professional those who are in those who are doing job it is for those who are doing job let's understand that in the sequence of most beneficial now a chartered accountant hardly four things chartered account in the most beneficial if chartered accountant is doing a job in a big company listed company multinational company he has invested in shares chartered accountant doing job he has invested heavily in shares of the company debentures of the company bonds of the company he has invested he wants share prices to go you know he wants share prices to increase like rocket he wants to make lot of money he want his 10 lakh rupees to become 10 crores he will make financial statements documents accounts in such a manner that companies company appears very good financial appears very good prices skyrocket he may compromise with the fundamental principle to protect his financial interest to protect his financial benefit to get unjustified benefit from his shares and debentures and bonds he may compromise with the prince fundamental principles a chartered accountant doing job if he has invested heavily in the same company to protect his financial interest he may compromise that is a self interest threat then he is promised commission of the profits he is promised commission of the profits he is promised bonus promised commission promised bonus he wants that commission he is seeing bmw in it he is seeing audi in it he is seeing foreign tour in it he wants that bonus he wants that commission he may compromise with financial reporting he may make estimates financial statement which are completely false to get that bonus to get that commission correct to improve remuneration a professional accountant participating in incentive offered by employing organization okay then gift company managing director calls chartered accountant who is deciding accounting policies who is finalizing estimates calls him hmm if you want gift if you want foreign tour if you want a bungalow if you want a flat on marine drive if you want flat on marine drive mm -hmm. okay if you want uh a famous uh, famous heroine in south nayantara or uh, rashmika mandhana if you for if you uh, if you want if you want flat next to them so that every regularly you can regularly you can meet them and feel happy very happy okay 
so employers may promise lot of gifts and put pressure to do wrong reporting prepare wrong financial statements self interest threat asset interest access to corporate assets we will give you access to company cars company guest houses company premises if you work as per our requirement or we will take away the access from you so you see you may get the cases four in the sequence of most beneficial to protect his financial interest of shares debentures bonds he may do wrong things self interest threat then below that for remuneration to get good remuneration of bonus commission self interest threat then to get lot of gifts self interest threat to get access to company's assets self interest threat okay so so these these things so whenever you find that so you understand these things whenever you find a situation where where a chartered accountant where chartered accountant is offered lot of benefits for wrong thing offers lot of benefit for wrong thing that is a self interest threat to protect his to protect his own benefits he may do wrong thing self interest threat then next we have self review threat now what is this what is this self review threat self review threat very simple again see he only he was appointed assessing after giving consultancy he is employee of the company he only gave consultancy for a particular amalgamation he is the employee who said amalgamation should be done he gave the he gave the idea he explained the project he gave the consultancy this amalgamation should be done this merger should be done so the person who initiated the idea who executed the idea he is only appointed you check whether this amalgamation is good oh my god he only initiated the project he only executed the project now he is only appointed that you only evaluate whether the merger is doing good is it a good decision or bad decision what a person is going to say of course it's a good decision he may hide lot of things self review threat so it's like you only write paper okay you you only you only write a paper you only write a paper and after one hour you only go and check your paper oh my god people will get 500 marks out of 100 he you only did something and you are only supposed to check it correct self review threat advocacy threat if a chartered accountant in job in service is appointed to make prospectus so cfo says listen ca make a beautiful prospectus wonderful prospectus people should go mad looking at prospectus people should value this company 100 times eps 200 times eps we should get p of 200 p of 300 you are given the job you are given the job to make it as good as possible as good as possible 
he may make the adjustments with our which are which are not truthful he may make the adjustments which are not truthful correct again threat to fundamental principles so secure better financial terms better pricing better investments so these examples are very small small familiarity threat again family my close family members i am doing a job in the company my close family members immediate family members are sitting as director in charge of financial reporting so my close family members are influencing me they are sitting as directors they are sitting as officers and i am the person who is preparing financial statement so they are coming to they are coming to us during lunch time please make good financial statements rosy financial statements super financial statements please for me so girlfriend is coming and she is saying for me can you do this can you increase profit by 200% please we'll go for outing together wife is coming will you please do it otherwise you will have it it's up to you so this happens close immediate family members in the company are influencing chartered accountant make good financial statements so out of sympathy or out of fear out of sympathy or out of fear or whatever or respect for family members for family members he may do that familiarity threat long tenure i am working in this company for past 20 years 30 years 40 years 50 years i cannot see this company in any problem i want this company to be shining always i want this company to grow like anything i want this company to be best company i will falsify everything so that company gets money company gets loan company gets funding it is an emotion for me it is not a company for me it is a emotion for me emotion for you may do wrong things familiarity threat familiarity threat okay so family members pressurizing familiarity threat intimidation threat we will dismiss you we will dismiss you we will dismiss your family members if you don't agree for aggressive accounting policy aggressive estimates aggressive disclosure you will be removed your wife will be removed your brother sister will be removed we will remove them don't disagree with us follow accounting policy which we are saying follow accounting estimates which we are saying otherwise dismissed 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 see these are principle based don't just go verbatim as it is go by the feel of the point intention of the point this is this is not a exhaustive list guys this is not a law this is a conceptual framework go with the spirit of the point there can be more situations which can create threats more situations which can create threats okay influence attempt individual tries to sway the decision making process of accountant putting in relation to the awarding of contracts or application of accounting principle my bosses and seniors are harassing me 
are coming to me again and again harassing me making me work on the weekends making me work for long hours not giving my bonus not giving my commission i am supposed to i am supposed to i am supposed to my goodness supposed to suffer a lot i am given bad food bad treatment they are mentally harassing me so that i listen to them i am a financial controller i decide whom to give contract they are forcing me to give contract to a ineligible vendor that will be that will be intimidation threat only two examples and then we have something called other threats other threats let's freeze guys very simple to protect own financial benefit self interest threat financial remuneration gift asset to protect his own work self review threat to promote company saying false things acting as advocate of the company advocacy threat family family members long tenure family threat intimidation you will be dismissed anyone will be dismissed we will pressurize you to do wrong things we will mentally harass you some of you must be feeling mental harassment in article ship mental harassment in article ship if you get a wrong boss you are screwed royally in life and if you are getting wrong colleagues oh my god you are screwed but let me tell you guys if such thing happens to you you are the luckiest person what nonsense sir if i get a if i get a boss mad boss mad colleagues how am i going to be the luckiest person you have tested venom in your first job you have tested venom in your first job everything else will be lovely for you everything else will be lovely for you everything else will be beautiful for you you will enjoy life to the fullest because you have seen such bad people such bad people such bad people now anyone you anyone you get you feel oh my god he is so good i am blessed i will tell you actually my boss were good or very good see so our officers were so uh, officers used to you know officers were so stretched extended i hardly remember a day when we were out of the office during the daylight so it was it used to be 9 o'clock 10 o'clock 11 12 2 4 o'clock 5 o'clock 6 o'clock that time we used to see daylight then i did my industrial training then my boss was a boss was a chill guy suyash chaudhary he is a fund manager today fund manager so i used to work for him chill guy he was what he was uh, 27 years old uh, i am grad and i was i think 21 years old chill so he used to say hey, if your work is over you can go home at 4 o'clock what 4 o'clock hey, i will cry <laughs> i will cry you are such a good boss you are asked me so i was not able to digest still i used to sit till 6 o'clock because i was used to sitting late so i felt blessed because i have seen so many harsh things i was like this is superb no problem i will do that okay now other threats if you think these are the only threats no there can be other threats also there can be other threats also let me explain okay 
people may do personal blackmailing. <gasps> these are these these threads cover majority of the things, major things. People may dig into your personal life, find out dirt, find out things, and then they will and then they will go against you and then they will go against they may blackmail you i will disclose it to everyone what you did in your old office what you did in your college days what you did during your during your ca i will tell people what are the allegations against you so people may go for personal blackmailing this may happen okay this may happen so there can be a situation where where uh, you are changing job you are changing job and going to competitor you are changing job and going to competitor and now competitor is pressurizing you give me the secrets of your earlier client earlier company tell me how they used to do business who are their secret suppliers what are the terms of the contract tell me who are the customers tell me to whom they export so new employer new employer may exert lot of pressure exert lot of pressure there can be situation where government is pressurizing if you want license we want these financial statements government is pressurizing do this one and so things we want to fight against china so and so thing should be done okay now it is we are having uh unusual things with canada also canada recently canada guys they uh, what they suspended our uh, ambassador it's so bad that's a very bad it's this never had happened between india and canada i feel very bad thing okay so government pre people may go because of government pressures also let's freeze guys so these are the examples of other threats personal blackmailing changing jobs going to computer government pressurizing so apart from the threats so you may get a question exam you may get a question exam are these the only threats no there can be threats which are more than this there can be more threats okay now evaluation of threats now this is very interesting so see beautifully they have structured the chapter first they taught us about code of ethics they taught us about the five fundamental principles how to implement those principles then they told us that listen in practical life in practical life you may come across these threats while doing practice you may come across the threats while doing job you may come across the threats so these are the threats which can happen okay and now they're saying but now every threat is different every threat is different it has different level every threat is different it has a different level of uh, different level of importance so that's very important that we uh, we assess the level of threat we assess the level of threat what is the level of threat and is it acceptable so whenever a threat is identified self interest threat or self review threat 
और एडवोकेसी थ्रेट और फैमिलिटी थ्रेट और इंटीमिडेशन थ्रेट असेसमेंट नीड्स टू बी डन हाउ बिग इज दिस थ्रेट हाउ बिग इज दिस थ्रेट वॉट काइंड ऑफ इम्पैक्ट दिस थ्रेट कैन हैव ऑन रिपोर्टिंग ऑफ अ प्रैक्टिसिंग चार्ट अकाउंटेंट कैन इट रियली प्रेशराइज द प्रैक्टिसिंग चार्ट अकाउंटेंट वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट इट इज हैविंग ऑन अ चार्ट अकाउंटेंट हु इज डूइंग अ जॉब वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट इज है वॉट काइंड ऑफ इम्पैक्ट इट विल हैव ऑन अ चार्ट अकाउंटेंट हु इज डूइंग अ जॉब that's need to be understood that needs to be evaluated and a very important principle is what is the environment of the ca firm what is the environment of the company so when we assess when we assess the threats we need to understand what kind of environment and policies firms and companies are having suppose they they are very they have they are very sensitive to the threats they have elaborate policies that professionals should be protected from the threats they have detailed policies on different types of threats and they keep protecting protecting the professionals from the threats so they have good committees they have good policies good steps regularly they evaluate the situations they help the professionals to protect themselves from the threat they help them in Im implementation of fundamental principles so if these guys are having very good committees very good policies very good processes very good communication level very good protection to professionals then risk then threat will be assessed at low level threat will be assessed at low level but then if these guys are very careless ca firm is only business oriented company is only business oriented they don't have committees they don't have policies they have don't have systems to protect they don't have they don't have any kind of they don't have they don't have any kind of systems they don't have any kind of systems to protect the professionals then the risk level the threat level will shoot up so we have to assess the level of the threat intensity of the threat probability of the threat magnitude of the threat and environment of the entity is going to be the biggest factor so when we make the assessment the first thing if we identify the threats we need to assess the level of threats and condition policies and procedures are going to be the important point in this assessment so we'll make the assessment now see having see it, it we live in a complicated world we live we live in a very complicated world very open world there are so many of so much of so many relations so many business personal relations connections obligations history present future a lot of things are going on, on continuous basis so you are always going to get threat there will be always a situation where there is a situation of threat what we need to see is it of acceptable level now what do you mean by of acceptable level if now what do you, what do you mean by acceptable level suppose go well now if if we go with all the information about the present situation that this is the number of shares i am having this is the number of bonds i am having so and so is my family relative and so on if we go with the complete information about the situation whatever situation it is whether it is self interest or self review or advocacy or familiarity or intimidation whatever kind of what whatever kind of threats we have if we collect all the information if we collect all the information and if we go with this information go with this information to a third party to a 
to a third party okay so third party is a party which is not involved in this particular assignment which is not involved in this particular project not involved in the assignment not involved in the project not involved in this work so if we go to them and they feel that it is absolutely fine i don't think there is lot of pressure on you i don't think you will compromise with fundamental principle i don't think you will give a wrong report i don't think this situation will compel you to do wrong accounting in books of accounts to prepare wrong financial statements then it is called acceptable so if you take this information to any any third party and you give them inform, complete information to them and they feel i don't think that principles will be compromised then we see that it is a acceptable level let's see an acceptable level of threat is one where professional accountant using reasonable and informed third party test this is rit pt rit pt reasonable and informed third party test r i t p t r i t p t if as per r i t p t test likely to conclude that there will be compliance and principle will not be compromised then we say that threat is acceptable now what is this threat so if the situation is such that such that we are concluding that principles will not be compromised they will be complied with that is called acceptable level so we have to apply ritpt test so ritpt test is reasonable and informed third party test reasonable and informed third party test now what is ritpt so it's very simple as i said in this this test involved in which chartered accountant involves accountant considering if another party would likely to reach the same conclusion the test is conducted from the view point of reasonable and informed third party test considering all known reasonable expected facts and circumstances at the time of conclusion sir what is this see in this test it can be executed in two manner number 1 chartered accountant can sit in his chamber and imagine that if i go with all this information about a particular situation to a to a reasonable reasonable well informed third party that means a third party which understand this which understand the situation which which know which understand the situation which can evaluate the situation which can apply ethical principles and get conclusion if we go so he will sit in his chamber and assume yeah, he will sit in the chamber and think about it if i go with all this information if i go with all this information to to rajnikanth to rajnikanth will he uh, rajnikanth sir will he go to rajnikanth sir with the if the information will he conclude there is that threat is ex will he conclude there is no compromise with the fundamental principles if i think he will conclude there is no compromise with fundamental principles then i will say it is acceptable level threat or i can do one more thing i can really go to a third party i can really go to a third party and give this information and take his opinion see once again so reasonable and informed third party test can be done by simply sitting in your chambers and and assuming a situation if this if we if i give this information whether that person will be in favor of this situation will support this situation or will be against it just simply think about it and get the conclusion okay so that is one way of applying it or literally go to a third party and give information take his opinion who can be this third party 
Who can be this third party? Very important. See, there are question on this. Accountant himself can apply this test or go to third party for opinion. The third party doesn't need to be an accountant. Third party doesn't need to be a chart accountant, but have relevant knowledge and experience to impartially evaluate the appropriateness of the accountant conclusion. Need not be accountant. Third party can be a company secretary. Third party can be a company secretary. Third can be a reputed IS officer. Third party can be a retired judge. Third party can be a IS officer. Third party can be a IS officer also. Very much possible. Let's freeze, guys. So if you come across a threat, you need to evaluate the threat. Step number one, we need to assess the level of the threat, what wrong things can happen. And when you make this assessment, what kind of conditions, committees, policies, internal control system, a CA firm or company is having that should be taken into consideration that has a big influence. So assess the level of the threat. Now next, level of the threat should be acceptable. When are we going to call a threat acceptable? If after applying reasonable and informed third party test, we feel that if after applying this threat, we feel that threat, uh, that child accountant is not going to compromise with fundamental principles, then it is an acceptable threat. Okay. Now in this threat, either we simply assume that we are giving all the information to a knowledgeable, reputed, reasonably informed third party and think about it. I, Either we think that if this information is given to them, what kind of conclusion they will make or we can literally go to a third party and take their opinion. This is how this test is done. Either you sit in your chamber and assume about it or you simply go to third party. This third party need not be a chartered accountant, can be a company secretary, can be a professional. Okay. Is this point clear, guys? Very simple, but very important from the exam point of view. Take my words. They will ask a question from you. How will you evaluate the threat? And I will tell you, this is a category. This terminology, that reasonable and informed third party test is going to be extremely important from exam point of view. Extremely important from exam point of view. Okay, so you should be very careful about it. And very simple four steps are given. And guys, just be relaxed. Just be relaxed. Enjoy these points. Mark these points. Do scribbling. Do a lot of scribbling. You can ask me doubts in live class or after live class on WhatsApp or Audit Guru website. Be interactive. Imagine situation. Imagine things, how things may happen, and so on. Okay? Now, because you are going to get practical cases on this and implementation of this. And I feel that's going to become very important part because I see a lot of professors ignoring this part. A lot of professors simply start from the CA Act. They directly jump to CA Act. They directly jump to CA Act. They will start with the schedules because that part is very interesting. They find it very you know boring to teach this part. But my concepts are very clear. For me, it's extremely important that students should score good marks. My ultimate objective is that students should score very good marks. And my ultimate objective is whether we are covering the ICI module convincingly. If we are covering the ICI module convincingly, I know that you are going to succeed. You are going to crack this examination. You are going to get wonderful marks in the examination. And that's my target, guys. Okay. Addressing the threat. Suppose after analysis, after reasonably informed third party test, you come to know that this threat is not of acceptable level. Uh, as per RITPT test, they feel that there is a chances that things will be compromised. Things will be compromised. Fundamental principles will be compromised. My goodness. Things will be comp there's a big threat. You like someone, you like someone, and there's one more person who likes her. 
who likes her and he is aggressively pursuing her. It's a threat. He is sending messages to her, messages to her, gifts to her, sweet messages. She is smiling. She may, she may like him. And I am gone. I am out of the equation. The two are liking each other. Threat. So what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to do something about it. If we find that threats are of such level that principles will be compromised, then we say they are not of acceptable level. Then it should be addressed. We should do something about it. Isn't it? We should do something about it. First scenario, you know, first solution, first solution, solution number one, elimination. Don't think wrong. Elimination. Okay. Elimination. Now, what is this elimination? Elimination means you identify the reason why this threat is there. This threat is because of uh, some shareholding from debenture holding. This threat is because of some business relationship. Okay. So, understand why this threat is there. What is the root cause of the threat? And is it, is it possible for you to get rid of the root cause? Can you sell the, can you ask your team, can you sell the shares? Can you stop the business relationship? That is called eliminating. That is called eliminating the threat. Eliminating the threat. Eliminate the circumstances, interests, relationship causing the threat. Think about it. Is it possible for you to eliminate that for this project? If that is possible, do that. So in our parallel context, in our parallel context, okay, go and meet that person. Hey, listen. Huh? I will, you know, I have a lot of connections. You will be simply gone from here. You will get lost. Okay. Stay away from her. You won't realize where you will go and what will happen to you. Eliminate all the communication. Delete her number. Block her from everywhere, otherwise we will block you from everywhere. You threaten that person and that person is sorry, 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 sorry. Eliminated. Yeah, don't think about killing. Huh? Killing is the, you know, it's not a very intelligent step. We're not a very intelligent step. Don't try think about it. If you can do something without killing, then that is, that is wonderful. That is lovely. Elimination. Then next is safeguards. But sometimes you cannot eliminate. Your wife is sitting in a position of director. How will you eliminate that? Can you break that relation? No. She will break you. <laughs> okay. So sometimes elimination is not possible. You should think first whether we can eliminate that relationship, eliminate that situation and get rid of the threat. If that is not possible, can we apply the safeguards? Now that's very interesting. That's very interesting. Can we apply the safeguards? What kind of safeguards? Uh, I will send, I will, you know, if I know that my relatives are there, I will ask other team members to work. Can I send someone else who is not having business relationship, is not having business relationship, financial relationship, remuneration, uh, remuneration challenges and so on? Can I appoint someone else? Can I appoint someone else instead of me? Can I appoint someone else instead of me? If I if I can appoint someone else instead of me, okay. So think about it. Can I send someone else? Can I appoint another CA firm to do something? Or 
can I increase so can I increase the supervision level? So sending someone else, appointing more number of people once again. So if you want to safeguard, if you can safeguard, safeguard means anything, anything which reduces the level of threat, anything which reduces, anything which reduces the level of threat, that is called a safeguard. So appointing more, appointing a bigger team so that more time is spent, that is safeguard. Appointing independent people who are not connected, that is safeguard. Doing more supervision, doing more supervisions, that is a safeguard. Appointing another firm to do the do some sensitive work, that is the safeguard. Okay, so we are going to discuss about safeguard. So if we can reduce the threat to acceptable level, great. First, try to eliminate it. If that is not possible, try to apply the safeguard to reduce the threat. If even that is not possible, then withdraw from the assignment. In some cases, accountant may need to decline or end specific relationship. Appropriate action to eliminate threats will depend on specific facts and circumstances. We need to take appropriate action. Either we will go for elimination or we will go for safeguarding. Or if it is not possible, then we go for withdrawal. So we have three things to be done. We'll have to see whether this, this or this, depending on the situation, what things we can do. Okay. Guys, we'll stop here. So we did wonderful today. I hope you are enjoying the lectures. You are enjoying the audios. I generally update audios on regular basis before by evening. So it is strongly recommended that you listen to audios on daily basis. Okay. And side by side, I'm discussing a lot of cases a lot, lot of cases of what kind of things, uh, what kind of uh, threats and what kind of cases you will be getting. So till now we have seen code of ethics, fundamental principles, five types of threats, examples of threats, how to deal with threats. But still, next is going to be safeguarding the th uh, safeguards. And then we are going to uh, start with the new thing. Guys, tomorrow onwards we'll be starting with C Act. So then sections are going to come in picture. So once section comes into picture, you will further gain a lot of interest. So regularly keep listening to audios. Be comfortable with the text. Okay. And the level at which, the depth at which I am teaching is sufficient. No need to go beyond this. As a professor, I will tell you at till what level you are supposed to go. Don't study this subject like a law. Don't study this subject like a law. No. This subject is principle oriented, conceptual. Understand the feel, understand the spirit, and you need to go with that flow, glow with that spirit, catch some important words, points, and explain them in your own words. Please don't try to cram. If you try to cram, you will suffer horribly. Please don't do that. Whatever I say in the audio revision, if you remember that, express it in your own words, that is much more than sufficient. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone. So let's stop here, guys.